2002 remake of the original Resident Evil successfully revived a beloved, if flawed, game, and later that year, Capcom used the same creative techniques to craft a prequel, Resident Evil Zero, which has now been dusted off and refinished for modern platforms. Zero pairs Rebecca Chambers of the Special Forces Unit stars with Billy Cohen, a slick military prisoner who's on the run. The two meet on a train that's overrun with zombies, but the duo eventually make their way to the mansion-like training facility of the evil Umbrella Corporation. They need to escape, but a series of monsters and puzzles stand in their way. Like numerous other Resident Evil games, Zero challenges you to carry just enough supplies to defend yourself from zombies and heal your wounds, while also leaving space for key items that are used to solve the game's many puzzles. With only enough space to carry some of your findings, you spend a lot of time looking at your inventory, debating what to keep and what to leave behind. When compared to earlier games in the series, Zero makes this process easier by not only affording you two characters, but also by allowing you to leave items anywhere you wish, as opposed to specifically designated storage chests as seen in the previous games. Still, Zero's limited health and weapon resources provide gripping tension as you navigate dangerous, uncharted territory. There are times, too, when you are separated from your partner, making the job all the more difficult. In these moments, Zero instills even more anxiety. With heightened, fear-induced senses, you also pay more attention to your environment, which is often beautifully rendered and presented through dramatic camera angles. Controlling your characters in a fixed camera system can be tricky on occasion, especially when transitioning from one shot to the next, accidentally diverting onto a new trajectory. For all its faults, by design or otherwise, Zero still scratches the quintessential Resident Evil itch. You hardly ever feel safe, and when working on difficult puzzles, you have to force yourself into dire situations, not knowing if you'll find a solution to your quandary or even come out alive on the other side. Instilling tension is a commendable feat, especially given that Zero relies on tricks that are over a decade old. However, there are times when the game manages to throw whatever immersion you are experiencing out the window. Zero can be too silly for its own good. It's hard to tell whether you should laugh or jeer when the camera cuts from the train to an opera singing villain atop a distant mountain, or when Billy utters one of his many 80s B-movie grade one-liners. So, you seem to know me. Been fantasizing about me, have you? More than most games in the series, Zero ramps up the challenge in a clever way by starting you on a train. To train. It's a linear environment with two levels and just a handful of enemies and puzzles, allowing you to come to grips with the controls and the types of challenges that lie ahead. You do fall into a routine towards the end of the game. But this version of Zero offers a palate cleanser after the fact that instantly renews your infatuation with it. Wesker Mode The unlockable Wesker Mode is, by every metric, totally absurd. It replaces Billy with Wesker, the series' iconic behind-the-scenes villain. He possesses superpowers, including the ability to endlessly release bursts of energy that decapitate nearby enemies. He can also sprint incredibly fast, knocking over enemies in his path, and with him at your disposal, Zero becomes a game about speed and force, rather than one about desperation and careful play. And it's difficult not to laugh, specifically when Wesker opens his mouth and Billy's voice comes out. Who is that guy? Zero bears the hallmarks that made the original Resident Evil enjoyable. At a glance, it looks impressive, with some expertly composed shots and highly detailed environments. Some issues from the original persist, reminding you how far controls and games have come since 2002, but they are temporary frustrations that fade once you find your footing and continue your journey. You may tire of the formula by the end of the game, but with Wesker at your fingertips, don't be surprised if you find yourself eager to sprint through zombies and decapitate them with blasts of energy. It's just crazy enough to work.